started as a fender bender in central Oahu, but then became something much more serious. Good evening, I'm Kenny Choi. And I'm Yenji Denise. The driver fled that first incident, then caused another, killing him and severely injuring another man. The scene at Kamehameha Highway and Waikalani Drive shows the aftermath of a horrific crash. This mangled SUV involved in not one, but two incidents today. The first happened just two miles up Kamehameha Highway at around 3 o'clock when investigators say the SUV rear ended a pickup truck. Both vehicles pulled off to the side of the road, and um, before the driver of the pickup truck could get out, uh, the SUV driver pulled back into the roadway and fled the scene. The driver of the pickup jumped into his car and followed, but soon fell behind after the SUV got up to speeds of 70 miles an hour in the 35 mile an hour zone and headed into a construction area. He drove through a coned area for, um, that was coned off and uh, hit the back of a GP roadway truck. Um, as when he hit the back of the GP roadway truck, there was one male passenger on the back of that truck who was critically injured and taken to an area trauma center. The driver of the SUV, a man in his 60s from the Mililani area, died at the scene. The man sitting on the flatbed had been waiting for word from a supervisor to remove the cones. Police aren't releasing many details, only that he is a local man in his 30s and that his legs were severely injured by the impact. The southbound lane of Kamehameha Highway reopened just before 8 o'clock tonight, nearly five hours after the incident began.